Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Tomorrow is Leah's birthday and we are super excited. I can't wait to give her her present. If you're new here, Leah is our daughter. She's turning two years old tomorrow and Leah has autism. We talk about that a lot on this channel. So if you're interested in autism and you wanna hang out, we'd love to have you. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we will see you here often. I'm just sort of waiting around for James to finish setting up her birthday present. I think we're not gonna give it to her until like tomorrow, but we're gonna set it up today. Is it just my husband or do they all get mad when they have to set things up? Get the butterfly. What does this remind you of, babe? Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Kangaroo song. Happy Wait, what exactly happened here? Hey guys, so you might be thinking, what is going on in this vlog? Like, the time jump was just kind of from us getting ready to all of a sudden we're singing happy birthday and now Leah is crying. And you would be right to think that that is super weird. Um, and there's a reason why all of that happened and why we're missing a huge chunk of her birthday. Originally we had planned to go out to a restaurant and we had invited um, our family, like my family on my side and James's family on his side. Here in Ontario we do have a lot of restrictions when it comes to going places and like needing you know documentation proof of um covid vaccination i want to be clear in no way is this like an i choose a side situation please be kind if you choose to comment on what happened here in the comments really i'm just telling our story because this is what happened so yeah we had a reservation for 10 which is the maximum amount of people that you can have at your um, like reservation in a restaurant here in Ontario. I had balloons made and we had gifts for her and we were really excited for everyone to gather. Ontario was just in somewhat of like a lockdown for a pretty long time and it was the first day out of this situation. So it was the first day that we were able to gather in like a public place or like a restaurant. Everybody in our party, of course, um, was fully vaccinated. That's the law here, you don't have a choice. So we all had like, the proof on our phone and typically you need to show ID plus like the certificate. Unfortunately, what we didn't know is that now there is a QR code that you also need. It was not like this before. We have dined out during, um, during the pandemic, like when it was open and this was never a thing. Unfortunately, when we got there, we were told that it was a thing. So, you know, we figured, okay, like we'll, we'll download them. We'll figure it out. Every single person in the party had proof of vaccination already with them. So there was no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Unfortunately, the government website did not want to work. Um, so a few of the people that didn't have a QR code yet were not able to get one. It just wasn't working. Unfortunately, the restaurant um, wouldn't accept our proof of vaccination. <laughs> and we were asked to leave. So, yeah, it is crappy like uh, I'm not gonna lie like all like personal opinions aside it was pretty crappy we did have to cancel her birthday party right there in the hallway of the restaurant in front of all those people which I will admit was awful I was standing there with balloons and there were people standing there with gifts and everyone had all of their stuff but it just wasn't enough and um we were asked to leave and of course we did like we just left quickly actually it's because it was pretty embarrassing 
And then I had a meltdown and I cried in the parking lot because it was embarrassing. Um, it was embarrassing to hold like the balloons and be standing there and like look so stupid. It definitely put a sour note on things uh, in the beginning. Anyway, so that's why there's no vlog of any of that. That is what happened. And yeah, so in the end, we all came back to our, uh, my house after I calmed down. Cause like, I will admit that I, I was crying. Like I was upset. I felt so bad for Leah. Getting into a restaurant with her and like getting her out the door is pretty hard. And so we had gotten her there and she was like in a pretty good mood and wasn't really fussing too much, which was good. But then like having to leave again after she had sat down and stuff uh, and like put her back in the car and come back, she was like now dysregulated and like too many transitions too quickly. So she got upset, but you know, once everyone got back to my house and things calmed down a bit again, for the most part, she did great. And we had pizza and that was great and everyone had fun anyways. And we just like forgot about all the other stuff because you can't change it. Yeah, so we sang happy birthday. And as you can see from the quick video clip, it was okay. But like all of the noise was a little bit too much. And maybe I didn't think that part through, but we are just learning. So maybe next time we'll take that down a little bit, uh, down a notch. Other than that, she did great. She got spoiled, she got pizza, and it was an, an imperfect, perfect day. That's the story. And I think that's pretty much it for today. <laughs> it's been a couple of days now since that happened, and that whole vlog took a couple of days to shoot, you know, over a period of time, just given the circumstances. But thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it so much. If you like the video and you like learning about autism and following our family, we'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you can hit the subscribe button, that would be amazing. And we would love to have you back here. Um, and I guess until then, I'll see you next time. Ciao.